instrument this is the specimen holder or specimen container the dimension of the specimen container is 37.5 mm diameter and 75 mm height this is the soil we have passed through 600 micron sieve and add a water of 30% and mix with properly so now we have to prepare the sample for the vein layer the soil sample passes through 600 micron sieve and added 30% water to it and mix it properly now we have to compact it to this container mold by 3 consequent steps like that this is the one step and the blow are started for compact is properly and the top position should be smooth and like that sample like that lock that sample like that the sample are locked like that in its position now we have to we now we have to penetrate the vein to this sample the penetration of this vein should be 
10 mm from each top position of this soil sample like that the vein we we, we have moved down this vein, vein like that uh, and firstly we have to take in care that the reading should be zero this is the circle the reading should be zero like that and we have to penetrate the vein now we have to penetrate the vein the vein is penetrated and the penetration should be 10 mm from the top position top surface now this is likely the 10 mm from this top position the vein has been penetrated firstly we have to attach a spring this is uh, that's are the spring we have to attach a spring you should know the spring constant for this specific spring this spring has been attached to this top position like this okay now we have to rotate the vein a rate of 0 0.1 degree per second like that like this this is this is the handle for providing a torque to this vein like that like that the and and now you have to apply the torque to this vein and to this oil sample through this vein like this this is a graduated ring yes the torque has been applied We have to apply the torque until the soil fails. We should look into this soil sample. We have to apply the torque until the soil has been failed. Now you see the soil has been filled to our this reading. We have to take a reading. The reading near about 35. We have to take it in the calculations. as per our experiment 
So how we determine the T, which what which is not applied? This is we use the this formula. T is equal to spin constant divided by 180 degree into difference in degrees. So as per our experiment, the initial value is zero. The final value is 35 degree. So the difference is 35 minus 0 is equal to 35 degree. And as per our experiment, we use a spring and the spring constant of that spring is 2 kg centimeter. So to put that these values, we can easily determine the value of S, which is shear strength of soil. Thank you.